Hello, my name is Sarah Brüning. I'm a postdoc at ETH Zurich and very happy to present to you today the work I did together with Dr. Felix Hensel on a simple, scalable and effective model of Alzheimer's disease classification. Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that is progressive and locally hallmarked by brain tissue atrophy. In addition to this, there's a global loss of brain tissue connectivity as well as volumetric shrinkage of distinct subregions such as the hippocampus. The aim of this study was to provide a scalable, interpretable approach that captures the clinical hallmarks of this disease. To this end, we used MR images from the ATMI database and performed an ablation study where we increased the clinical relevance of the image content. We started from the inner brain, which comprised a large intensity cube and hence posed restrictions on the hardware we produced to train models. We then moved to geometric three-dimensional image patches and finally functional brain subunits, the hippocampus. We used three-dimensional neural networks to train these models, and in addition to that, also looked at ensembles where we combined multiple image patches through either logistic regression or graph neural networks. We compared these convolutional neural networks with topological data analysis, which is a means of evaluating connectivity information. Here we calculated persistence images and evaluated these in two-dimensional convolutional neural networks. We further performed interpretability analysis using GradCam. In terms of results, we found that focusing the input data further to clinically relevant subregions also boosted performance, and the best performing model was the one trained on the left hippocampus. Combining multiple image patches either through GNNs or logistic regression did not further boost performance. Topological data analysis is a means of severe data compression and extracting connectivity information. As such, these models trained really fast and were highly scalable, However, their performance was inferior to the ones observed in the 3D neural networks. In terms of interpretability analysis, we observed that the best performing patch comprised the hippocampus. And in terms of graph cam analysis, we found that the ventricles and the hippocampus were highlighted for a model trained on the full inner brain. These regions are highly relevant for Alzheimer's disease. And at the local level, we saw that brain tissue atrophy, which is the space between the grooves of the brain, were actually highlighted. So to summarize, I hope I could show you that focusing the image subset on clinically relevant information actually achieved competitive performance despite using a deliberately simple model architecture. Interpretability analysis further showed that the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease were driving classification, and neither ensembles nor topological data analysis could further boost this performance. We now want to carry this approach forward for interpretability-aware model training, where it's essential that we use a scalable approach that is also post-talk interpretable. Please contact us in case of any further questions.